What's going on, everyone? I'm just a typical, average American here today to react and learn about the six best things to do in Bergen. Bergen is not really known by Americans. I had never heard of it until I started learning a bit more about Norway. Most Americans have heard of Oslo, at least, but I don't really know much of anything about Bergen. I know, uh, I remember it's the second biggest Norwegian city, which is amazing. Uh, and I think it deserves its own kind of video to highlight some of the cool stuff there. I looked at Bergen a long time ago, a YouTube video, and I've really forgotten a lot of the stuff there. Uh, so I pulled it up on this map, and I remember it's in the, it's kind of on the coast, which means it's amazing, like beautiful. A lot of the Norwegian cities are by water, and that just makes them so beautiful. This is like a water coastal city, maybe fisherman type city, uh, I'm trying to remember, but I'm just excited to watch this video today where someone who actually lives in Norway here is going to explain what he thinks the top six things to do in Bergen are, which sounds absolutely fantastic. So let's take a look. Hi, hi, I'm Paul from Norway. Today I am in Bergen, and here are my six suggestions to what you can do if you have a full day in Bergen. Oh, okay. Art. Bergen has a really good art scene. You see a lot of cool street oh. art when you walk around. And then you have the cool... Oh, wow. And it's, uh, it's like modern art. Like street art. Not like in a museum or something. That's very cool. Not something that I necessarily think of when I think of Norway is some of like the, the modern art. So I really like this. Walk around. And then you have the cool the museums, which has art from different time periods. Right, right. So then you have like the art around the city, maybe done by locals. And then you have the museums. Oh, this is very good. This is a good suggestion. Including a big collection of Edward Munch. There's also a lot of great contemporary art in Bergen. Okay. Bergen Kunsthal is one of the main arenas for contemporary art in Norway, hosting okay. exhibitions from international artists. And there's wow. always something interesting to see. Oh, so when you visit Bergen, there might be art uh, that changes, like different uh, showcases highlighting different artists, depending on when you visit. That's very cool. Also, with a ticket to the Kunsthal, you get a discount on your <laughs> entrance to the Kulde Museum. What on earth is this? Also, with a ticket. Is this, uh, is this art? It's some kind of art exhibit? Interesting. To the Kunsthall, you get a discount on your entrance to the Kulde Museum, just oh, next okay. door. Okay. The Kulde Museum is spread out among four different buildings. I really like wow. the number three, with a large collection of the painter Edvard Munch. Edvard Munch. Man, even the entrance to the museum looks incredible. But you also find some real Norwegian classics here from the National Romantic Era. A oh. great place for a rainy day. Oh, is this like Norwegian uh, like landscapes and like classic Norwegian art? I've never really seen stuff like this. Realistic Norwegian landscape art. Very cool. N and definitely not something I knew you could do in Bergen. Uh, Number two is score <laughs> I don't know how to say that. One of my favorite streets in Bergen is Skolstreda. Skolstreda. Shoemaker Street. And this is Shoemaker. One of my favorite streets in Bergen is Skolstreda. The Shoemaker Street. Shoemaker. This is just a very cool street. Just uh, a wow. couple of blocks behind the fish market. There's a lot of uh, cute little stores. Clothing, secondhand, retro, or some nice restaurants. Oh, I love this. Oh, this is such a good tip because I feel like you, this is something you need a local or someone who lives in Norway or lives in Bergen to tell you about. This is a so specific, a street with cool shops, not necessarily like famous or like the fanciest, most extravagant place, but just fun. Secondhand shops, I, this is 
Very good advice. Cute little stores, clothing, secondhand, retro, yeah. or some nice restaurants, yeah. and some nice bars as well. So oh, this looks very nice. Very calm. Very, very pleasant. Oh, this is definitely a street you want to check out when you come to Bergen. Yeah. Number three, Bri Bregen. The Bregen in Bergen is on the UNESCO World Heritage List. And this was oh. once the main seat for the powerful trade organization called the Hanseatic League. Okay. Bregen in Bergen has become an icon to the city. An oost. Wow, I mean, I think he's just talking about this area, right? League. This, the, the design of these wooden structures is extremely pleasing and very, very cool, I have to say. This whole area has like a very unique look to it. Bryggen in Bergen has become an icon to the city and oozes of salty history and dried codfish. Oh, like the fishing, sort of the fishing history. Okay. These old wooden built. Oh man, yeah, this is not something you would ever see in America. Oozes <laughs> of salty history and dried. This, like the dried fish hanging up. No, you'd never, never see that in America. Codfish. These old wooden buildings were built as commercial buildings for the Hanseatic okay. League. Wow, uh, man, this is such a great view of these wooden houses, buildings like this. They're, this is like out of a video game or something for me. Like there's no towns look like this in America. This is very Norwegian, Bergen. A powerful German trade organization that had one of their main offices in Bergen for several hundred years. Okay. Today, there's still trade here. But dried codfish has been replaced by cute little shops selling <laughs> souvenirs, crafts. Oh, look, you can get a... Oh, man. Oh, hold up. I'm getting a pop-up. Oh, no. No. Okay, we're back. Oh, this is so good. The little... You, you can get the little Bergen uh, miniatures. Oh, I know this is such a touristy thing, but... I'm a, I love it. <laughs> I'd be a tourist. I'd buy one of these. And Norwegian sweaters. Nice. It's exciting to stroll around here, up and down. Oh, you could get an authentic Norwegian sweater from Bergen. Oh, this this is exciting me. Oh. Down narrow alleyways while admiring the architecture and charm of these old buildings. Yeah, yeah. Such a such a unique style of building. Uh, the. Bergen Museum, yes. In okay. Norway, there's not a lot of good museums from the medieval ages, but here in Bergen, they have one, and that is the Bryggen Museum. Medieval? Like, like Norway medieval period, or? Throughout the centuries, Bergen has been hit by numerous fires. The oh. most recent one in 1955. Wow. After this fight. 1955, that, that's not that long ago. That was like uh, 60 something years ago, 60, 70 years. Archaeological excavations found a lot of objects providing an insight into everyday life during the medieval period. Oh, such wow. as wooden sticks with runic inscriptions on them. Medi oh, I love this. This is so fascinating to me. Like this would be probably the one of the museums I would definitely want to visit in Bergen. Evil shoes, swords, and a lot oh. of coins and jewelry from all over the world. Because it's very like, it's very physical, like very, very cool. The, the weapons in particular. The Bergen Museum is an excellent museum for learning about the past of Bergen. Okay. Okay. Yeah, and I was hoping like, surely it talks about the history of Bergen itself, right? Yeah. Mount Floian. Okay. Now to get some perspective and see Bergen from above, I recommend heading up on Mount Flöjen. Okay. Bergen is surrounded by seven mountains. And oh. here you see the top of Mount Flöjen. Oh. To get up there, you can ride a funicular, which departs down from the city center. This oh, this is so cool. Okay. This railway is 2,769 feet long. Oh, you can ride this tram up to the top and get a get a good uh, view of the whole town, I imagine. There's seven mountains around Bergen. Sheesh. Covers a height difference of 991 feet. Oh, this is good. It's been so running good. all the way since 1918. 
Oh my gosh, I, I, I'm I sorry, I gotta keep pausing it just because this is like the coolest thing ever. And it even looks, the ride is even cool. And carries over 1 million passengers every year, eager to get up to the top. Ah, it's a great ah. ride, passing by residential houses and forests, and it can- Oh my gosh, I did not realize how big Bergen was. I, I'm just now realizing this is the second biggest city in Norway, right? Uh, besides Oslo. I just have never seen it from this far. Be a bit of a thrill to look down as you're ascending on an average 13 feet per second. Oh my gosh, yeah. Now I see the way it's built in to the water, the islands, like this. Now this is all making sense, seeing it like this. Wow. Wow, wow. Yeah, there's really nothing quite like this in America. Wow. Once up on the top, you get a great view of the city and Vågen, the bay. Possibly, oh. it's the best place in town for a selfie. Yes, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that, this is what I was expecting. The tourists, the American tourists coming out to get your picture. But, uh, I mean, I would be buying one of the hats, one of the sweaters. I'd be buying a miniature Bergen fisherman building and I'd be taking a selfie. So, what can I say? <laughs> <laughs> now there are two ways to get down again. Either you can take the funicular down or you can walk down through oh, the forest, nice. which is actually a very enjoyable walk. Oh, that is so great. You can actually walk. I don't know how many Americans would choose <laughs> to, to walk, but this seems very, very, very pleasant. Very fun to walk back down. Easier to walk back down at least than up. The hiking trail leading down is about 3 kilometers, 1.8 okay. miles. It's okay. well marked, but basically all you have to do is follow the locals. The trail oh, wow. takes you through a lush forest and you have nice views. Oh, you get these amazing views. Oh, wow. Wow. I like what he's doing with the list here. Uh, mentioning some of the art, some of the museums, some of the roads and specific street uh, sort of stores, and then this kind of active walking, hiking, going up to the top of the mountain. Great variety of top things to do in Bergen. This is very good list. Use of the city. As you get further down the hillside, you walk by the many wooden houses, and oh. after about 30 minutes from the top, you're back to where you started. Oh, you even get to walk by some of the houses. Amazing the variety of color of houses. Is that on purpose? Because it's very striking. Seafood. Oh boy. Bergen has a strong connection to the sea. And the result right. is some really amazing seafood. Wow. Scallops. Okay, this is, this might be the most culture shock of the whole video for me. Because... In America, there's not many places you're gonna get this fresh and this kind of selection of seafood. Lobsters, oysters, shrimp, cod, and delicious king crab. Oh, You'll find geez. it all here, fresh from the sea. And I oh can't think gosh. of- if you, if you like seafood, this is like paradise. You cannot get it this fresh. In America, you can't. Of a better way to end your Bergen adventure than having a big plate of it down by the harbor. Huh. <laughs> wow. So as you can see, there's a lot you can do in one day in Bergen. Yeah. I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you have any questions about Bergen, feel free to post a comment below. Stay tuned for more uh, videos from... Wow, that was fantastic. That video was by Norway with Paul, and I gotta give that a like. That was great. Very good suggestions. Local art, the art showcases, museums, Bregen. Uh, even the convenience stores, the tourist stores I like. <laughs> the museum. Mount Florian. Seafood, yes. Uh, I'd have to... <laughs> Seafood I might be the most skeptical about, but I mean, when in Bergen? Come on. You can't pass up on it. And I know there's a lot of Americans where the seafood might be the most enjoyable part. I think for me, it would be taking that journey to the top of the mountain and getting to see everything and walk back down. That might have been my favorite thing, but this, this whole thing was fantastic. 
so cool. Such an amazing Norwegian city that doesn't get any attention in America. Like, Americans really are missing out, for sure, not knowing about this. So, I'm in, I'm happy I got to see this, and I enjoyed it quite a bit. Anyway, if you enjoyed this as well, feel free to give this video a like or leave a comment. And if you're interested in more videos like this, me reacting to Norway and Norwegian culture and just things in Norway I've never seen before, feel free to subscribe for more. And until then, thanks for watching and see you next time.